worry about the uh, we'll cancel that I think I'm in the wrong chat I think I've figured out the microphone excuse me boys while I fix this Right, mic check, mic check. Okay, stand by. Hang on. Yeah, I got it. Got you. Can you hear me? Okay, see you, mate. Okay, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We have got it all figured out now. We are coming to you today from Saudi Arabia for uh, season two of the PRL Championship. This is Tier 1. It's good to have you here with us today. Sorry about the mix-up. I uh, apologise for that, but uh, we all sorted out now. We should be good to go. Uh, well, it looks like we've just joined the uh, pretty much the start of qualifying. Let's see who is on track. Isn't... Karma is currently in first position with a 127.8 is the time to beat. Oh, just a quick recap. With the uh, between the uh, two tiers, the current championship leader right now is a Ferrari Pro, who isn't racing today on 30 points, followed by Little Mitch on 23 points, and then Karma on 20 points. And as for Tier Two, who are running the exact same uh, track right now, uh, it is Corey in the lead on 30 points, followed by Bert Sourced on 23 points, then. PRL sinking ships on 20 points. Now this Jetta is only a fairly new track. It was first held uh, last year in 2021 with uh, Lewis Hamilton taking the win. It's a 6.1 kilometre track or 3.8 miles. It's named the fastest street circuit on the F1 calendar and is the second longest track on the calendar. The circuit is located on the Jeddah Corniche adjoining the Red Sea. A beautiful part of the world. Alright, now let's try and get some telemetry up here. Okay, that's better. Okay. Alright, so Goldfinch in 7th position on the medium tyres and real trill on the medium tyres. Uh, that'll be interesting. The strategy. is going to be a 50% race with seven minutes left of qualifying. The yellow is that CJF is out of qualifying. Something's happened to CJF, probably pushing too hard. And it looks like he lost it somewhere. If we stay on board with Saint, are we going to see the car? There it is, off to the right there. It's well off this track. 
Saucy does a 127.7 is the time to beat. Got a new driver today, Real Trill Ghost. Welcome to you, mate. Let's see. Is JBM on a hot lap or a cool down? We'll find out. Uh, it could be on a cool down. Real Trill gets out of the way. Good driving. Supercharge at 127.1. That's the time, current time to beat. Very good lap from Supercharge. Oh, so easy to invalidate going around this sector. Everyone's done it. Just have to back off ever so slightly to avoid the penalty track limit invalidation. And this is another one as we're riding on board with JBM. This is another one could easily invalidate. Ran, clipped the wall and go too far over there. And he will cop penalties for sure. And the rest of the uh, saucy gets out of the way. Good on your saucy. The rest of the circuit's fairly easy. Nice fast flowing circuit is Jetta. And in saying that, as the track definitely invites you to uh, go wide in some places. Go wide in some places to um, suck you into those penalties. So JBM's currently in 11th place. Let's see, gets himself up into 7th position. Well on JBM. Alright, maybe CGF may have lagged out. He seems to have joined back. So at the moment we've got uh, Noah in the Alfa Romeo. I love JBH in the Ferrari. PRL Saint. In the Mercedes, real trill ghost in the Alpine. We've got uh, PRL Aussie in the uh, McLaren, Onos in the Haas, Chris W1 in the Aston Martin, Goldfinch in the Williams, PRL Tinselman in the Alpha Tauri, PRL JBM in the Red Bull, Little Mitch in the Aston, PRL Mighty Wombat in the uh, what do you call that thing, a Mercedes. Uh, we've got Saucy in the Ferrari. Flex Offset is in the Alpha Tauri. Uh, Karma. Not sure what colour that is. Is that a Williams? It might be. Is it a Williams? I think it might. No. Supercharge in the Red Bull. Good luck to those guys. That is the order for today. The drivers for today. Four minutes left. Qualifying, and it looks like Supercharge is set the time to beat. I don't think anyone's going to get very close to that time. It's a very good lap time. Uh, uh, we've got a. This. JBH veers off into the pits. <laughs> All right, Tinselman's on an outlap. We'll ride with the tents. Here he goes. Coming up to the first two turns, a very slow ones. Horrible pit entry, uh, pit exit there. Got to be very careful of incoming car, oncoming cars. Tinsel backs out of that one. May have made a mistake or just not happy with that approach. Mighty Wombat's on a flyer, so we'll see what Mighty can do. Currently in seventh position. He handles that those turns nicely. I 
looking a bit of a toe here as well as DRS. No, not sure gets out of the way. Oh, gets right over there. You can cut that bit quite a lot without invalid lap, lap invalidation, so use that to your advantage. We've lost Tinselman. Lost of flex offset as well. Okay. Very nice exit out of there from Mighty. It looks like a pretty good lap from Mighty. That's going to put him up there. And it does. Puts him in a second position. 127.2. Very close to supercharged time. Well done, Mighty Wombat. A good lap. Only a minute 44 left, so that should be finishing or starting their flies. Uh, you're only going to get one shot at this. Let's see who is. JBH is just going to make it over the line. What's happened to Aussie? Uh, no, he's still going. Maybe he just can't improve on that. I don't know. Or he will be going for a flyer, actually. That's what he's doing. Watching the clock there. For only a minute left, he'll get around there with time to spare. Here comes Aussie Blake on his last flying lap for qualifying for the 2022 PRL Championship at Jeddah. Very nice exit out of there. Now this one here, super fast. Gets it hooked up nicely there. Just got to watch it don't invalidate, go too wide. Cut too many corners around here. This one especially does okay through that. Oh, they're supercharged as a 127.0 to take pole. That's a very quick lap from supercharge. Aussie Blake, Aussie 94. He kisses the wall there. Currently in 15th. Really want him to do well here. Quite bumpy. I'm pretty sure he's going to bump himself up few spots here. It's not a bad looking lap. Karma gets into second <laughs> second position ahead of Mighty Wombat there. Very close lap times those guys. DRS is always activated in qualifying. You don't have to be within a second of the car. That's only for the race. How does he come out of there? Gets a very good exit out of there. Gets the power down nicely. All the way to the left to get maximum straightest runs of the line. And he gets himself up into 11th place. That's not a bad starting place for Aussie. It's, uh, I'm not sure how many laps it's going to be 50% race, but uh, there's going to be quite a few, so... We'll see how it all pans out. So there's a pecking order up the top there. Supercharge 127.0. Karma 127.2. Oh, hang on. I stand correct, a little Mitch comes through with a 126. Karma will be in third. Mighty Wombat is in fourth. Goldfinch will be in fifth position. Saucy, looks like Flex is going to be in sixth. Saucy is in seventh. Noah is in eighth. Good lap from Noah. Well done, buddy. JBM is in ninth. Saint, PRL Saint is in 10th, PRL Aussie in 11th, Onos in 12th, Real Trill in 13th, Tinselman will be in 14th, Chris 15th, CJF in 16th, and JBH rounds out the field in 17th position in the Ferrari. That will be your starting positions. Is right there in front of you.
very good lap times, these guys. To get into the 127s is very, very nice. Um, Supercharged nearly gets him into a 126. As does uh, little Mitch. Very good lap times. Expecting the boys race pace probably 130 something possibly. I could be uh, I could stand corrected because these guys are quite fast. So we'll see how that pans out. Probably a two-stop strategy this race. I'd say uh, soft to mediums would be the way to go, perhaps. Uh, the Haas definitely won't do a thing around this circuit, as the circuit is a very, very fast one. So the hard tyres, uh, being a slower tyre, just won't be that beneficial for you. Depending on... Safety cars, early safety cars, of course. They could opt to pit and go for hard tyres to finish the rest of the race on. So we'll see what happens. Anything's possible. There will be a formation lap, so the guys will not be starting straight away as we get to the grid. Go around once and get all the temperatures and tyre pressures up and everything like that to commence the start of the race. So yeah, this is Tier 1. Tier 2 are doing the exact same race today, so good luck to all those boys. There is the formation lap underway. Supercharged, ducking and weaving to get some tyre temperatures into the rubber to make it stick to the road like glue if possible so yeah all of us boys we all race together on a daily basis in our uh, lobbies uh, which start around uh, our time Australian Eastern Standard Time we start around about around about 2 p.m. Um, so if you'd like to hop on board and have a have a friendly race with us in our lobbies you can uh, hit us up under PRL underscore Danny Rico 3 and if you want to watch the live stream back you can just type up on YouTube Pacific Racing League and you can see all the races there more than happy to help welcome new drivers and help them out any way we can we're a friendly bunch of guys great community we all love F1 and we all have different uh, different race uh, pace some guys are on the wheels some are on controllers they're all different no two drivers are the same but we kind of understand everybody's race pace and everyone's got really good race etiquette as well we have a great time during the day so jump aboard we're more than happy to help you to our friendly little neighborhood it's going to be a great race today, I reckon. It's going to definitely dry one, thank God. So I highly doubt it would rain in Saudi Arabia that often. All right, the computer will snatch supercharge, which it hasn't yet. Looks like it has now. It'll put him all the drivers into their grid box automatically. This time the drivers will be wiping the sweat from their brow and getting ready to race. Good luck to everyone. Great bunch of guys. Really, really good races. Very respectful towards each other. Have a great time. Alrighty. Let's see. We get the five lights. The underway. Let's see. Hang on. What's going on here? There we go. Right on board with Supercharge. And it's lights out and away we go. Supercharge gets a bit of a horrible start. 
Looks like uh, little Mitch has jumped him there. Side by side through turn one. Yes, they are. You'll give each other plenty of room. Action going on behind them. Looks like little Mitch is in front. Supercharge has to back out of that. Oh, little Mitch goes wide there. Look at a disqualification for parked in a dangerous location from Real Trill. Oh, I've got no idea what that's about. Let's try and have to. Real Trill's been. Yeah, I can't. Don't know what's that about. Anyway, looks like all the boys are. Oh, we've got a move here. It is JBM on Honos. Gets the job done there. Oh, is Honos going to come back? One's on soft tyres, one's on medium tyres. Looks like JBM got that move done and dusted. All the boys, boys are really close together. Ten swimmers on the back of Honos. DRS is not activated yet until lap three. Ozzy's in the 13th. Chris in 14th. CJF is in 5th. Is CJF still... I don't think CJF is running. I think he may have left a session or may have some... Yeah, looks like he's got a red X there. I think he may have some internet issues. Uh, does CJF. Alright, let's have a look further up the field. There goes a move. The Tinselman on Honos. Is that job done? It definitely looks like it. Oh, there's another move here. Oh, look at this. As Noah trying to diff... Oh, Noah gets a tank slapper and ends up in a wall. PRL Saint got that job done. And it's allowed Saucy to go through his teammate. Does he have damage? He does, indeed. And he's letting the other drivers through. Oh, uh, no, he's got, he's got a wing and end plate. He's still going okay. Could be side pod damage, possibly. Who knows? Sure, he'll pit and get the problem sorted. Maybe here comes. Well, look at these guys. It's Tinselman on JBM. There, that job is done and dusted. Or here we go. JBM has got. Interesting, okay. So I reckon DRS is activated after this lap. Let's go up the front here. There's a come some moving. This Karma on Supercharge. They side by side through the last corner. Supercharge gets a great exit out of that. Little Mitch supercharging Karma. Three amigos. And there's a little Finchy hanging on in the back of the waiting to capitalise on some action. DRS is now enabled. So, Supercharge will benefit from this if he's right on Mitch, in which he is. The DRS, where it says Honda there, that will open up. I will tell you when. Right about now, sometime. There it goes. That will allow a lot more airflow uh, through the back of the car to, and a lot more create a lot more rear downforce and give the car a little bit of speed, but it doesn't do much, it's not that long anyway. What's going to be interesting here is we'll stay on board with Supercharge just for a second, I just want to demonstrate something, if, I, if it does work out. There's a DRS zone coming up, the supercharge is coming up on. Which is... Now, now, the wing's open. Now, he can overtake Little Mitch here if he chooses to, not a problem. But he doesn't, he thinks about it, because if he did, Mitch would have the DRS on the straight here. So, supercharge is very smart, very well calculated. And he's got the DRS now, so, so Little Mitch can't do anything about this. So there's two helpings of DRS back there. That you're better off staying behind the car to the last corner and using that DRS zone on the main straight in order to make a move and keep in front of the car that you've overtaken, if that makes sense. So Supercharge knows that, and he... he uh, 
did that perfectly. Oh, we've got flex offset on Goldfinch here. Is he going to stick it on the inside? No, he's not. Let's have a look. Let's see if Flex Offset knows about this, what I'm talking about here. We'll uh, look here. Now Flex will be coming up to the DRS zone just around these two turns. Oh, Goldfinch goes nice and wide and cops a penalty there. Now, he's got the DRS. Is he going to overtake him? He is. But Goldfinch, oh, he's getting overtaken by Saint as well. You watch those two, these two cars behind. You watch Saint. If you know what I mean, he was a bit uh, further, a bit too far behind to do anything. But if he was closer, he would definitely have that move taken, done and dusted. Oh, we've got Supercharger that has had a bit of a spin there. How's he going in his car? Let's have a look at his car. He's lost an end plate. Oh, no. Just got the end of that. He's definitely lost the right-hand side end plate on his front wing there, so he's going to have to pit. Bad luck for Supercharge. We will see. He has to pit. Otherwise, the car is just completely undrivable, unraceable. So we will um, see what tyre he chooses to put on. It's only lap 5 of 25. No safety car. Every car car's still on track. Let's have a look with uh, uh, the big loser here at the moment is Supercharge. Check on some telemetry. Uh, the tyres, penalties at the moment. Finchy has three seconds, and PRL JBM has three seconds. Right, let's see how far Little Mitch has gotten here. He's got a lead of uh, nearly two seconds over Karma. Oh, is Karma getting overtaken by Morton? What, what did I see there? Yep, looks like Mighty Wombat has definitely got Karma here on the main straight. Not a problem, thanks for coming. Puts himself up in a second position and on the hunt for a little bit, a little Mitch. Oh, Mighty's it into the wall, but unfortunate mighty. You've done it. got to have some wing damage there, buddy. Just waiting for the cars. Oh, definitely wing damage now. <laughs> uh, bad luck, mighty. Get back in there, mate. Get amongst it again. What tyres does Supercharge go for? He went for the medium tyres. Let's see how long he's going he's gonna to make them last. Was really pushing. PRL Aussie is up in the eighth position. Go Aussie with Honos on his tail hunting him down. Saucy is on the end of JBM. And what's, what's going to happen between these guys? Let's watch this one. Come up to uh, JBM. Is JBM going to get tinsel on this first? One here, or will he wait until the main straight? No, he's going for it. He's done the move on Tinsel there. Now, Tinsel got enough to come back at him on this DRS straight around this corner. That's a good exit from Tinsel, you can tell that. You can see his wing pop open there, and here he comes. There he goes, he's going to go around, he is. Is he going to swing it in? Oh, they're side by side through there. You've got to give it a little bit of room, and they do. And Tinsel makes that job done. That's a perfect example of what I'm trying to talk about. This leave that DRS over overtaking for the main one on the straight. All right, Karma, in seventh position. I don't know what's going on. What's happening with Karma? Yeah, he seems to be. He's going all right. His car's fine, isn't it? Yeah, it looks good to me. Goldfinch is racking up these penalties. That's six seconds to uh, Goldfinch.
Hobbs, he's doing well in the mediums in eighth position. Monos. Monos is hunting down Aussie. Let's see how Monos. Ooh, a little bit loosey goosey out of there. Monos has 35% ERS. Uh, Aussie has 40%. Very similar. Both exactly the same tyres and tyre life. DRS bang open. He's going to get closer and closer. He needs to get a good exit out of here if he's going to get anywhere close to Aussie. Yeah, not too bad. He'll probably just get on the back of Aussie's gearbox here at the moment. Uh, but there's nothing he can do if Aussie will have the first corner. Okay, those two are going to be at it. Here comes Saucy, Tinselman and JBM. Golf is your 131.1 on the medium tyres. Uh, JBM copped the penalty there. Very easy to get uh, penalties around this circuit. Super duper easy. Right, let's see who's going to play the bit of a DRS game between these three boys. It looks like at the moment, it looks like Saucy is closer to Tinsel than what Tinsel is closer to JBM. Yeah, you can cut that a little bit and get away with it. It's not a problem. Here we go. DRS open. Job is done and dusted here. But Tinsel knows better. Tinsel will allow that to happen. Get a good exit out of this. And just jump saucy. Okay, gets a great exit. You watch this. It's job done. Oh, hang on. They're both... Tinselman's gone into pits. They've both got DRS open. So when they both have DRS open, it's kind of a no-win situation, you're going to have pretty much exactly the same amount of speed. Alright, uh, where are we? Aussie in 7th position. Onos still chasing Aussie down. JBH is doing well in the ninth position. I think JBH started the last position. Tinselman has come out onto the medium tyres for his pit stop. Finchy is on two lap old mediums. He's got a few penalties, a few seconds worth of penalties there. That's still a long way to go. Anything can happen. CGF seems to be going around in ghost form. Supercharge is charging his way through the field. Currently in 13th on uh, a lap old softs. Which I reckon he's going to have to, yeah, he'd have to pit again for sure. Uh, Chris W1 in the Aston Martin on the medium, fresh mediums, it's doing well, still in the race, mighty wombat, rounding out the field. Is there going to be a battle here in the pits between Saint and Flex? I saw Saint going first. Is Saint, Saint's not going to jump him, surely. Let's have a look. Jump, Saint's is off. Saint's... Saint did jump him. Okay. It's on you. Oh. There's a lot of action happening. That's a horrible pit exit, that is. There's a little Mitch going up the top here. We've got PRL Aussie in third position. Go <laughs> get in there, Oz. The medium, saucy. Little Mitch has got a nice nearly seven second lead over everyone. Over uh, saucy. It's a very good driver from Little Mitch. Onos is just not... He's just hanging with Aussie. 
doing a great job as Honos. JBH in the Ferrari is fifth position, doing very good. PRL Saint is in sixth position, hunting down JBH. Only 14% ARS left. He really is hunting him down. Is he going to get the DRS on the main straight? He should. Not a problem. He's making these tyres really work really well for him. They are fresh mediums. It inches ever so close. JBM catching tinsel, not a problem here. There is a DRS zone around these two corners, but uh, it doesn't really do much. It needs to be a bit closer to that to make it work. DRS is activated. It does really doesn't do anything unless you're really on the gearbox of the car in front. Supercharge is going very well. Goldfinch moves over to the side to allow Supercharge to go through. I don't know why that is. Is Finchy okay? Yeah, Finchie's car's okay, he's just, he may not be overall enthusiastic about the circuit or his setup, perhaps. Right, where are we at? Supercharge. Goldfinch is coming. Will he get him on there, here? Have a look. Have a look at Goldfinch. He's got 90% ARS left. Goldfinch, the supercharged trying to break any toe that he might be given off to Finchy. Supercharged has only got 20% left. So yeah, uh, could be on between Goldfinch and Supercharge here. Keep an eye on that battle. Saucy's for himself. Is that Karma? Karma's done the move on a JBM there. JBM's coming back. Who gets a better exit? Looks like JBM smashed that exit. Hold on. Does have penalties though. Oh. Alright, now here we go. Does Karma know him? Karma should definitely know not to overtake him on this next DRS straight. Oh, then again, he's got pressure from Tinselman behind him. Uh, they've both got DRS. Oh, is he going to send it? On the inside? No, thought better of that. Alright, look at this. JBM is going to overtake JBH. There's a lot of JBs here. That move is done right there. And that puts JBH in the middle of them. Oh, he goes a little bit wide there. And Karma capitalises on that. Good driving there from Karma. Karma is all over the back of JBM. Can he make this DRS zone do anything for him? Tilsonman cops a penalty. That'll be for corner cutting, no doubt. It's going to definitely making this work. Look at this. That's a move. Done and dusted there on the inside. JBM gives him plenty of room. Good driving from both guys. Well done. JBM ain't giving up, but he's uh, <laughs> he's sticking with him. Let's see how this is going to pan out. JBN going to come get him.
Getting ever so close. Hits the brakes for the corner. Oh, gets right on him. Needs to get a great exit out of here. Not a bad exit. Here comes the move. That is always bound to happen, that is. And Tinsel fancies himself. Is Tinsel sticking his nose where it's not wanted? As he always does. The side by side, these boys. Gets a little bit taily out of there. Good move. Good good try anyway, Tinsel. I'd do the same thing. Well done, buddy. No harm, no foul, no damage to either car. Carry on. It's good good racing from these boys so far. Well, Mitch is doing very nicely. Ozzy is doing nicely in second position there. Yeah, oh, hang on. Honos is making a move. On Aussie. Is Honos going to get him on the DRS straight or wait for the last one? We will see. Got that open there. Don't don't overtake him. No, they can't help himself sometimes. Aussie's going to get him back on the straight. Not a problem. Look at the look at the exit Aussie gets here. That's not too bad. That's the job done easy. But uh, he's defending. Actually, he has a lot more ERS left probably. Aussie is going for it. Aussie sticks it on the inside there. Makes it work. Look at that. Nice driving, Aussie. Well done. How much does Aussie have? Aussie's only got 40%. Onos has got 87%, so Onos does have a lot more power than what Aussie does. Just don't get penalties. Because Aussie's super lightning fast through this section. Pulls out a bit of a gap on him there. Karma's got a penalty. As Goldfinch does a 130.2 in the Williams fastest lap of the race so far. Have a look at this. Have a look at all these guys. Super close. Great racing, these guys. Oh, Honos has had a... Honos has done. Honos has had a loop-de-loop. -loop. He's going to give the Scandinavian flick and swing around. There it is. Good one. Well done. And carry on with it, mate. Still in the points. That was good battling from, uh, from Honos. Here we go, these boys. Tinselman is going to get the drive out of here, is he? No, he's not going to do anything. JBM's not going to do anything. I think it's up here, actually. Yeah, Aussie has dropped back a little bit there. Saint is in third and Flex is in second. Aussie may be uh, having some tyre wear, possibly, maybe losing a bit of grip. Oh, there's about nine laps to go there. Finchie's just going faster and faster, 129.5. Good lap there. Have a look at this. Saint is all over the back of Flex. Very good driver is Saint, as is Flex. Oh, had to think twice about getting some power on there. Is Saint going to overtake him on this DRS zone? Let's watch how this pans out. Back off. No, he's going for it. That's going to allow Flex to get the overtake done. Not a problem. Look at Flex gets a great exit out of there. And that is job done on by Flex. Looks 
looks like the battle's off the top, the uh, pointy end of the field, I believe. Saucy's doing okay in eighth. No, no uh, penalties. Supercharged has got himself up into ninth position. JBH in tenth. One else has gone for the pits. I reckon he's going for the soft tyres. And he is the red stripe tyres. Finish the lap on that and set the uh, set some faster slaps possibly. Mighty Wombat is having a bit of a shocking race in 14th position. It's Chris going. Chris is just by himself in 12th. Yeah, it looks like the battle is definitely up on the front end, but we will look through them, keep an eye on it. Here comes the move, Saints on Flex. And is it going to be Flex on Saint around this next one? Let's see what kind of exit Flex gets. Oh, not a really good one. Drops in back quite a bit. Uh, he's on the ERS, is Saint trying to defend him, any move from Flex. And he does so. Good driving there from Saint. Little Mitch is just up front. Just watching all the construction going on around the circuit. Having a good old time is Mitch. He's in a zone. He will have this race in the bag, providing he doesn't do any damage to the car. Saint's doing well. Getting a bit of a gap there on flex. Let's have a look at the all oh, the penalties are pretty big for JBM. There's nine seconds worth of penalties there. That's going to drop him back quite a bit. Have a look at these guys. Flex going to get him now. Uh, Saints' is lights flashing. Got no ERS left. Look, have a look at this. Three abreast through here. Karma gets an... Oh, Saint doesn't give up. Well done. Good driver from Saint. Saw that gap and went sent it. Oh, Saint just clips the, that wall on the inside. Oh, unsettled him. Did it cause damage? Oh, Saint. No, uh, it may have just unsettled all over the back of his teammate, Flex. Uh, Tinselman's got 29%. Flex has got 33%. Pretty similar. Flex is on it to try and defend from Tinsel. Saints coming. Saints has got his groove back again. He's getting back in it. Chris has got a penalty for that'll be corner cutting. Where's Tinsel? What kind of exit does Tinsel get here? Uh, Flex is going to get DRS as well anyway. Yeah. That'll be even Stevens there. Oh, Saints gone in for. He's got his... Let's see, is he on in for a wing change? Yeah, he has. He's not happy with that wing. I couldn't even see any damage on it, but sometimes you can't see the damage and you got damage, but uh, that's not visible. But he's gone in for a wing change and some fresh softies, and there's an unsafe release there from PRL Aussie. On to PRL Saint. <laughs> That's got to go through the steels for sure. These two boys are going to battle it out in the last five laps. Oh, 
I bet you they feel all brand new, these cars now. You can throw them anywhere for the fresh rubber. Well, only five laps to go. 